Nissan started racing in 1936 in Tamagawa with our Datsun models. Our aim was to prove our technology through competitive racing. With over 85 years of history in the sport, Nissan has pushed boundaries and with the creation of the GT Academy, Nissan broke down barriers to make the motorsports more accessible than ever before. GT Academy was a partnership between Nissan and Sony PlayStation to see if the best Gran Turismo gamers in the world had what it takes to become a professional racing driver. Honestly, a lot of people thought we were crazy. Taking gamers from the virtual world, putting them in a real-life racing car, they didn't think it was possible. But as a challenger brand, Nissan has always dared to do what others don't. It was actually only meant to be a one-year program, but it was so successful and groundbreaking that it actually ran from 2008 to 2016. Of course, for the gamers who are used to driving in the virtual world, GT Academy actually gave them opportunity to drive such infamous cars as the GTR Nismo and the 370Z Nismo in the real world. Of course, the gamers that got through to the race camp finals had a week-long intensive course, fitness tests, media tests, and real-world racing cars with all kinds of other crazy challenges. For the final winner, then the hard work would start to qualify them to race at the Dubai 24 Hours. I always dreamed I could get into racing somehow, some way. Um, GT Academy gave me the roadmap. I knew when winning the GT Academy back in 2011, I knew that my life was going to change. I didn't know how much. It's been an amazing journey, winning championships and growing and learning as a racing driver. GT Academy expanded to have competitions running across all regions of the world. And we had millions of entrants and ultimately we had 22 winners who went on to become professional racing drivers with Nissan. The GT Academy was completely unique and it is a part of Nissan's heritage we are so proud of. We dare to do something different and to find a different way to discover the talent. We knew at the time that we were making history. A proof of this is that GT Academy heritage is being immortalized in the Gran Turismo movie by Sony as a cinema release motion picture based on the true story of Jan Mardenborough, the 2011 Europe winner. The movie captures the thrill of racing and the story of inspiring gamers to go and pursue their dreams. The GT Academy was putting a lot of emphasis in giving an opportunity to young talents. Formula E is continuing this heritage. We currently have the youngest driver in Formula E, and we use Formula E to showcase our expertise in electrification. We have a lot of technical learnings moving from the advanced R&D department of Nissan into Formula E and vice versa. Nissan is now fully focused on electrification in motorsport. The design of our current Nissan Formula E car livery is actually inspired by our flagship Aria. Since 2018, Nissan Formula E has won two races, participated in 67, and electrified the racing careers of nine drivers. As we look to the future, being a progressive challenger is rooted in Nissan's founding principles, and this attitude will continue as the next generation looks to be inspired. <laughs>